What's up guys, welcome back to another TaylorMade Creations video. Um, by popular demand, uh, people have been commenting a lot about how I'm gonna power the uh, TV and the fans in my blinds, so uh, I thought I would make a video and show that. Uh, last year was uh, a pretty big build with this and I was pretty worn out by the end of it, so I thought I'd wait till uh, this season to get everything powered up in the blinds, so. I'm going to be going off a solar panel here and uh, a battery inside the blind and I'm going to kind of walk you through how I'm going to wire this up and uh, how it's going to power everything. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment and uh, let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright, so before we get started, I'm going to kind of explain the process of how this all goes together. Uh, so as you watch, you kind of understand from beginning to end how to do this. Uh, so. First, you need to mount your solar panel somewhere on the outside where it gets good sun. I thought about putting it on the roof, but I just really don't want to put another hole or point of entry for water to get in my blind. So I thought I'd put it here on the side. Uh, you connect an MC4 cable to the back of the panel, which I will show you. And then I'm going to run it into the blind. That cable will connect to what's called a charge controller. and that charge controller will then connect to the battery and then an inverter will connect to the battery. The battery that I have is a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery and uh, I have a 2000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter which I will show you. But that's kind of the process, the flow of how this all goes. And then whatever you're powering is connected into the inverter. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to do all that. Alright, so first step is to wire up to the uh, solar panel. So you need to remove the cover to the uh, box on the back. And then take your MC4 cables, which look like this. And you need to strip the end of each one and wire it into the box. So uh, it's marked with a positive on the right, negative on the left. All right, uh, split these wires here. You can uh, put it with the screw in the middle here. That's the first side is done. You just rinse and repeat for the other side. Just close it up. So the next step is uh, to set up the charge controller. Uh, so here's your other end of your MC4 cables that plug into your um, solar panel. Here on the charge controller you can see the solar panel positive and negative 
and the battery positive and negative. So here's um, uh, the two wires that are going to go from the charge controller to the battery. So we're going to go ahead and hook that up. The next step is to take the uh, cable coming from the charge connector that's going to connect to the battery and put a little copper connection on here to help it connect to the battery a little bit better. And you can uh, slide the sleeve over and put the uh, shrink sleeve on. There you go. It's ready to be connected. The okay, next step is I'm going to install the uh, charge controller. Alright, next step is you can go ahead and connect the uh, cables that come with the inverter uh, to, to the inverter. Then you can take the inverter and go ahead and install it on the wall. All right, next step is Put your battery in place and connect your cables from the inverter to the battery as well as the cables that are going to go to the charge controller. All right, next step is to uh, <clears throat> hook the battery up to the charge controller. Now you can uh, plug in your MC4 cables to the charge controller and everything is hooked up. Alright, so you can see on the charge controller screen that the solar panel it's registering and it's sending power 
to the charge controller and then to the battery. So everything is working. Now it's time to plug in the TV and see if it works. All right, so now's the moment of truth. Plug everything in. Turn the inverter on. All right, turn on the fan. Okay, let's drive the TV. There we go. All right, it all works. There's the whole setup. If you're wondering how I'm getting cable, which I explained in my gear blind build video, I finally have that up and running. I've plugged in an antenna and ran it up this tree. All the way right there. I get um, ABC and CVS, that's about it. But, you know, that's pretty good. And so I ran a cable, buried it underground, and ran it up to the TV. All right, so there you have it, guys. Uh, pretty easy process. Um, hopefully, um, what I filmed will help you uh, get yours done. Um, I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do this and how I was going to power everything in here. And after doing some research and Talking to some buddies of mine, I figured out that this was going to be the best way to do it. Um, as you can see from the video, I mean, it's not complicated at all. Um, just need to get the parts and uh, put it together. I'll put a link in the description below of everything that I used in this. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to being able to use these fans when it's still hot at the beginning of the season. If you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment. If you have any questions at all, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Really looking forward to hunting this year and uh, using these fans kind of cool me down before the cool weather hits. Until next time, guys.